a look at pointing these joints, a bit of a DIY method. We've got two bits of slate, which are going to protect the slab from either side of the joint, like so. This will mean the mortar doesn't stain the slab. We've got our mortar, which is a four to one mix. Make sure it's a good mix, as always, and just push it down in the joint. So make sure it's pushed in the joint. You don't want any voids in there. Right now, once the joint is filled, you can take the slate away and you have your mortar in the joint. Which then you've got to leave this go off to tool it up. If you tool it up now, it'll just make a hell of a mess. So you'll leave it go off enough. The time for leaving it go off can vary massively, so you've just got to keep an eye on it. Right, another method is a mortar bag. It's a bit like an icing bag, just a bag with a hole in the end. You can buy specific ones, this is a fairly cheap one. There is better ones you can buy. Let me just show how easily you can do a DIY bit of pointing on your patio. Again, this will only work if you have a good mix. It will not work otherwise. They are a bit tricky to fill. Once you've got a bit in it, it gets easier. So you have to hold one end like that. So we'll do this method. This joint here is with the slate. So this one will do with the bag. You try and just even pressure. Like so. Just take your time with it. You want to make sure you're slightly proud of the joint because when you tool it off, it's going to push it down. I'll just show another joint now. So just squeeze gently. Like so. Try and keep any mortar free of the slabs. We'll show another joint now. Again, you can get once you get a bit more confident, you can go a bit quicker. Just like icing a cake. If you've never iced a cake before, then it's just like pointing a patio. <laughs> and just keep your pressure so you can let it come out slowly. And move with it as you go. Right, so we'll show another joint now. It's actually nice and clean method it is. Very minimal overspill onto the slabs. Right. Last method is the point master. These are a bit more expensive than the basic tools we use there. The mortar bag is pretty cheap and the slate, if you've got them lying around, costs you nothing. But these are nice and clean and quick and not much strain on your hands because you've, you've got decent force pushing it down. Again, this only works with a good mix. It's gotta be a good mix. So you wanna load it. Be as clean as you can loading it because the cleaner you are loading it, the less mess you're gonna get on your patio. Yeah, you want to fill it over the barrow. If there's any drops, then just go back in the barrow. And again, it's just light pressure pushing it in. You want to be slightly proud on the slab. <laughs> it doesn't matter too much if it is on the slab because it, you'll be surprised once it's dry how little staining will be as long as, you, as long as you don't try and rub it off when it's wet. That's the main thing. And you can always go over your patio with a bit of cleaner a few days later if you really do make a mess of it. So once you're used to this gun, very quick and very easy to use. You've got to make sure you keep it clean, but it is a very good method. Right, we've put all the points in with various methods. We've left it go off a bit. The time for leaving it go off will vary depending on the, the heat. You want to try and not do it in direct sunlight because it will go off too quick and dry too quick. So we've got a pointing bar, which is half round. 
you really don't want to buy a point and bar you can buy a bit of so you can use a bit of copper pipe or yeah or any sort of pipe and just bend it a bit but ideally you buy a joint and bar so what you want to do when it's dry enough is run your bar through it like so and you just look this is just dry enough and the reason you want it to be dry if it's not dry anything on the sides will mark the slabs but if it's dry enough you look now when you move it that's not marking the slabs or staining it you just want to run it through like that very quick you can see now why you want to leave the point in a bit proud because where it's not proud in places you have to fill in but where it's proud and you haven't got to go back over it or anything you want to make sure you do the little detail between the joints cross but just go around doing all these joints like so and just keep going like that and once you've done it all if you brushed off then right now we tooled it up and it's gone off a bit you want to brush it off you can't brush it off straight away when you tooled it up but once it's gone off a bit you can brush it off reason being you don't want to leave marks in the compo you see there it's leaving very little marks in there if you've got any bits you've got to touch up as you go you can just run the bar back through it like so you just want to brush it into the middle of the slab you just make sure there's no bits in the joint With a nice soft brush on it right so we'll just brush these joints off with a soft brush if it starts leaving marks here that means the point is too wet but this is ample now if you just go around the whole patio brushing it off like that and she's ready to go then You just want to brush it into little piles in it in the middle of a slab and you can scoop them up then right, another method if you've got a large area you can use a nice big sweeping brush again got to be nice and soft there we go with a big brush you can work over some areas nice and quickly make sure it's soft again make sure you're not leaving anything in the joints you can really start to work quite quickly then again make sure you're not dragging it over the joints or anything if it's dry enough it won't do that so you've got to get these bits out of the joint the dustiness like so and just keep a pile there to be scooped up this is job done on this now all the joints are brushed off and that's how it is if they start drying out really fast and the sun comes out, then you can give it a light spray with the hose, but don't go crazy because you don't want to make any joints run. Because they start going white really quick and you want to get some dampness on it. Yeah, job done. Hope that helps.